What's up guys, I just got this gasket box with an air and moisture resistant seal to help keep my filaments dry. PLA filament can absorb moisture and that will ruin the print. But that's not good enough, you also need a desiccant to help absorb the moisture. So I bought 25 pounds of rice. Let's fill this up. The domestication of rice took place about 12 to 15,000 years ago in ancient China and can still be found in many popular dishes today. You can often find grains of rice in your salt shaker to keep the salt dry and flowing smoothly. So it looks like you can accomplish the same thing with a small box of silica gel. When doing time lapses of my prints, it can be hard to get a good shot because the print bed is moving back and forth. So a couple of weeks ago, using some quickly mocked up designs and spare prints, I created a platform to move back and forth in sync with the bed. It worked pretty well, but was not rigid enough, which resulted in some shaky footage. It broke off when I was cleaning the rice anyway, so let's start over. I found a 16 inch camera track slider and some luggage replacement wheels and ordered away. After my package was delivered, I immediately started losing interest. But I pushed on anyways because I already spent $50 on parts. Look at that shiny new surface. The first use of time-lapse technology took place in 1911 in Yosemite, where Arthur Pillsbury recorded the movement of flowers through their life cycle. The first use of luggage wheels is unknown. As smooth as molasses. Oh shit. Well that one works great, so let's move on to the next one. Is your 3D printer working well, almost too well, but you're having a bad luck streak and you want to keep it going? Well, you should do what I did and order this almost useless upgrade, the multi-material pack with the stipulations that all your filament comes from the same company, has the same melting point, and sticks to tight tolerances throughout the whole roll, you'll be printing in no time. In only three short weeks, I was able to print this fluffy sheep. And you can too, at the expense of your printer not working at all afterwards. Well guys, I just wanted to take this time to thank my Patreons. Thanks for watching and tune in soon.